Thanks for staying with us. We'll be starting the newspaper review with The Nation. Major headline, soldiers killing. No one left in community, says governor. Villagers fled into the bush. Oborevori briefs Tinubu. Senate House probe attack. Ola Kulein family for Ibadan thrown 160 years after. Overdrafts to federal government. Senate grills CBN chiefs. Umoji appointed Zenith Bank GMD. Edo Assembly asks CJ to raise panel on Shaibu. 42,000 metric ton of grains being shared to state, says Agriculture Minister. Interest rates take center stage as CBN MPC meets. Violence will cease in Southeast after my release, says Namdi Kanu. What stories do we have in the nation? Okay, I have the um, Adebutu story. Mm -hmm. So Adebutu was the governorship candidate for the PDP in Ogun State in the last elections. And he's being tried at the state high court in um, Abeokuta for, you know, for having distributed 200,000 prepaid cards that's supposed to be like a payment for votes. And the prosecuting counsel, um, Ruth Simi Jacobs, is saying, had called a witness, it's night witness, the number nine witness. She, her name is Celestina Appeal. She appeared as witness against Adebutu or for the prosecution. And she said she's the, she identified herself as the head of Department of Card Services at the bank <coughs> in question. And in this write-up, I wonder why the bank is not stated. But they said the commercial bank, so I would not be stating the bank we, we thought it was. But she said he had written a letter and applied for the issuance of 200,000 prepaid cards, which he claimed were intended for distribution to beneficiaries of his empowerment scheme in commemoration of his late mother's uh, late mother, Dame Carolina de Boutin. And she, she, she brought that letter as evidence as well. You know, he was, he was um, alleged to have distributed cards, ATM cards, as that's as we know them. At, during elections to candidates, even though mm. there was a scarcity of cash, <clears throat> something that nobody else could have achieved at that time. So he's being prosecuted for buying votes, and this is the, what the prosecution is able to establish. But um, the trial continues um, today as well. Yeah. yeah, I have the major headline, and it's an update on the killings of the soldiers that happened in um, Delta State and, uh, you know, the the burning of the communities yeah. and things like that. So we have the governor just speaking, giving us an update. He says that uh, he's received update from the military. There's confirmation that 17 of them were killed and their names of the officers <coughs> were mentioned. Also, the privates were also uh, mentioned in the report. But there's also, um, of course, different groups of people calling for a thorough investigation. But according to the governor, he says that uh, um, they haven't heard from the community leaders because the communities have been deserted. Um, some, uh, the um, member, the house rep member um, representing the area says that his people have actually run into the bushes. So that's why there's no one in the communities, but the governor says the military has been giving them updates. Mm. So um, they will try and go and look into that. And then he tried to give us context of what, what has happened. He says a lot of people are talking and they don't know what has been happening. He talked about that, yes, there has been a constant um, back and forth of issues with those two communities. Mm -hmm. And there was a meeting, you know, to sit down with them and try and resolve the issues. So what happened with the soldiers was not something that they were expecting. It came as a shock to them as well. But, you know, this is something that they are willing to look into. He says he sat down with military op security operatives and they've also assured him that what they are interested in is fishing out the perpetrators mm -hmm. and that no innocent lives will be caught up in this, in this um, issue yeah. right now. So um, he says that, um, you know, the military and the state, that's what they are working on. Yeah. Uh, we have... Um, different stakeholders. I, the Muslim rights um, concern has urged community leaders to expose those behind the killings. We have the Forum of Delta State Non-Governmental Organizations call for special panel to probe the incident. The Urubu Traditional Rulers and the Urubu Progress Union um, call for an independent truth commission on the killings and the underlying causes. So everyone you know, has agreed that this was not the right Too way to, so. God, yeah. uh, to go. And they're saying that 
um, innocent lives will be protected. So we should be careful, you know, the sort of things that we're saying while investigations are going on. The Senate has asked for our investigation, the <coughs> House of Reps. So everyone is on ground to make sure that the perpetrators of that gruesome act um, I also uh, even heard that they are going to compensate the... Um, uh, yes, the, yes, thank you for bringing that yeah. up. Because the governor says that um, the families of those that were affected, they will first make sure they give them befitting burial mm -hmm. and also show support to the families that they have left behind. That's a good yes, that's okay. a We just good have thing. to find better ways is not service. Yes, yes, okay, so I have the 42,000 metric ton of greens being shared to seeds, mm -hmm. seeds agricultural mm -hmm. minister. We all know how difficult the food stuff has been all, all, around the, uh, all around Nigeria and all, just to make it a little bit easy for Nigerians and all. So the distribution to states has commenced. The Minister of Agriculture, Abaka Kiari, had a meeting with lawmakers led by Senator Saliu Mustafa to shed more light on how they are going to distribute these grains to all the states and all, just to make it easy and then make it more accessible to all, everybody. <laughs> So that the people will be able to afford it and all. So, okay. So um, the story here says the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Namde Kano, <laughs> yesterday alleged that there was a conspiracy to let him die in the custody of the Department of State Service. That's the DSS, and um, he made the allegation while he was addressing the court. Shortly after, he was denied bail, and he said he had requested to be transferred to Kuje Correctional Center. And he told the court that he was suffering from cognitive heart disease and that the DSS facility is not well equipped to, you know, cater for him. He also alleged that they had no medical facility to treat him and there was, you know, talking about the conspiracy for him to die in DSS custody. So after his bail was denied, he spoke, you know, from the dock and he said that um, when people come to see him, they will not allow them. They don't have medical facility. His heart is failing him. They are just patching him up. They say, he said his foot is swollen and he's asked them to conduct surgery. They, ha they couldn't. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is just going to, you know, he alluded to the fact that it seems like there's a conspiracy against him. But now I think the justice had said that um, they can't just keep him anywhere, right? He had asked for uh, giving them two alternatives. So it's either you take me to Kuje or you give me home, what's it, do they, uh, home, arrest. home arrest. Yes. But they said he was somehow he had attempted to uh, be of a flight risk some time back. And so so they don't he had trust jumped him. bail. Mm -hmm. He had jumped say, bail. Abari Bay Senator Abari Bay who stood bail for him. He stood short for him in a big mess at the time. Mm -hmm. And so he's not a, 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 you know, a suspect likely to be granted bail. Mm -hmm. Once you set that, that precedent, most judges, even if they do grant you bail, you keep having the back and forth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then also the uh, so, judge also said that he cannot... Um, I trust the Kuje prison because of what happened the with last you. Time, yeah. Yes, the last time. So it's not prison a safe break, place, eh? a prison break mm -hmm. that happened. Mm -hmm. But let's take a short break now. When we come back, we move on to other papers. Stay with us. Stay tuned. Your View will be right back.